Welcome back to the news in full. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi expressed appreciation to efforts by the Central Bank and the Ministry of Finance to implement the recent economic and fiscal reform measures. This came during his meeting with the Prime Minister Sharif Ismail, the Governor of the Central Bank and high-ranking officials. The President also pointed out to the high awareness of the Egyptian people who realized the seriousness of the economic challenges facing the country. As Sisi said that it was important that the youth in the financial institutions such as the Central Bank and the Ministry of Finance would take part in the upcoming National Conference for Youth to demonstrate their efforts in stabilizing the country's economy. Joint Egyptian-Jordanian military exercises continued Monday in the Jordanian Kingdom with the participation of the infantry, air and naval forces as well as special forces from both countries. Officials said that the exercises dubbed Aqaba 2016 and taking place in south of Jordan, it comes as uh, within the framework of the scheduled annual joint exercises with neighboring countries. The event started with lectures on unifying concepts and exchange of battlefield expertise and exhibiting weaponry used by the two countries and aimed at enhancing skills of joint action against potential threats. A statement by the Egyptian military forces said that the exercises included uh, carrying out specific battlefield missions according to premeditated programs. The exercises continue till November the 25th. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi ordered the opening of the Rafah border crossing for Palestinian students on the 17th and the 18th of November. Earlier in the day, the authorities announced that the crossing would be open in both directions for humanitarian cases from the 14th till the 18th of November. Iraq's interior ministry said that a suicide attack south of Baghdad has killed at least